If an artist came to the ballpark with their sketchbook, could they draw Tim Lincecum? Could they sketch a windup with that many moving parts? Could they use the right amount of shading to show his intensity? Could they actually capture Tim Lincecum on paper? Perhaps an artist could, but here at Comcast Sportsnet Bay Area, we can capture him in high definition. And our picture is coming up next. Thank you, Greg. Tim, thanks for joining us. And your last two outings have been pretty spectacular, recording double-digit strikeouts. And you really seem to have found a groove since coming out of the All-Star break. You had kind of a rough outing there. Do you feel like you found a groove? And how do you deal with the ups and downs in this game? Uh, well, I mean, you just know that that's going to be part of the game. I mean, it's not like everything's always got to be perfect or everything's got to always be bad. You just got to try to stay even keel in between that and you know, not let it uh, affect you emotionally and you know, take you out of your element, I guess you can say. And uh, as far as the last couple outings and the success, it's just kind of you know, me focusing a little bit more in between, uh, in between innings and my, per and my workout pitches and you know, taking my bullpens a little bit more seriously. I try not to walk guys a lot, trying to get, a, trying to get ahead in the count. And I've been utilizing my, uh, my, cur my curveball and my changeup a little bit more than, uh, than usual. So that's been helping me. It's funny that you use the word perfect because that leads straight into our next question that those two outings that you had, your last two outings, ended up being no decisions for you. And we know that the team's struggling giving the pitchers run support. When they're in a funk like this, an offensive funk, do you feel more pressure to have perfect perfect stuff out there? Uh, no, not really. I mean, you just... You just kind of have to roll the punches. I mean, whether your your teams come out and score seven runs for you or, you know, they score one run, you got to go out there with the same kind of mentality that you're going to try and get the job done and give your team a chance to win. And, you know, whatever happens when you come out is what happens, and that's just kind of the way you got to take it. Entering this week, you are leading the majors in strikeouts, and you are in the top five in ERA. What would it mean to you to nab one of those titles this season? Uh, I mean, a lot, but, I mean, at this point right now in the season, I mean, we still got a lot of ball to play. Um, that's not really anything I'm thinking about. I mean, I still got a lot more starts, and we'll kind of see what they decide to do with me as far as innings pitch this year, so we'll see what happens. I don't know. All right, so you're going up against the Braves. They're not having a good season, but you can never count anyone out in Major League Baseball. What are the pitfalls that you need to look out for taking on the Braves? Uh, they're an aggressive team. Uh, they're young. Uh, they're they're fast. They got a, they got a good – they just know how to play ball. I mean, Cox is a great manager, and he does a job over there. So, um, as far as that goes, I mean, you just got to be aggressive back at them and not get out of your uh, get out of your zone. I mean, as far as me, it's just you know getting ahead of batters and throwing strike one, and uh, you know obviously getting the the first out inning helps. But uh, it's just about you know just being more focused than the other team. All right, and most importantly, Tim cut his hair, and this is big news. Very so yeah, very important news. Uh, what what caused you to cut your hair? Did you think maybe you were looking too old, Tim? What was going no. on there? No, uh, actually, it just. Just getting all over the place. Um, just something had to change. I don't know. I just felt like cutting it, and it did. So I know about that yeah. getting all over the place thing, and so does Greg Papa. Your hair is always all over the place. Greg, back to you. Well, thank you, Greg. Tim, you seemed locked in all day, but it looked like you had your strongest stuff there in the eighth. What was working for you all day, and how nice was it to go deep into a game? Uh, you know, I felt like I had most of my pitches working. I mean, I found a couple pitches every inning trying to get away from me, just losing my rhythm. But, you know, I just tried to bounce back after a couple walks or whatnot and just try to throw strikes and let guys, you know, put the ball in play. And then uh, things just kind of worked out for the, for the best. The, the Giants have been vocal about wanting to protect you, not having you pitch too much out there. How do you feel at this point? How's your body? How's your arm? Uh, I feel good. I mean, I feel just as strong today as I do. Uh, I did, you know, at the beginning of the year, I just, you know, it's me taking my care, t taking care of myself and, uh, you know, doing the things I need to do off the field uh, to uh, keep myself in shape and uh, keep my arm strong. So. One thing that helped out your pitch count today in the third inning, I think you had four, four pitches, pitches and three yeah. outs. That doesn't happen very often. That no, must be nice was, to see. Uh, it was a quick inning. It was nice. Uh, it almost seems like I just got out there. I think I threw more warm-up pitches than I did uh, pitches in that inning, so it was nice. Now, McCann caused some trouble up there yeah. for you, but you kind of had the final say. How tough of an out is he? Uh, he's a really tough out. I mean, he just he's, he's, he puts a nice swing on the ball. He's got a great swing from the left side of the plate, uh, covers a lot of the plate, and so it makes it hard to go in and out. And, you know, you just got to keep the ball down just like you would anybody else. And it just that last, you know, bat against him was huge for me. 
Yeah, nice defense behind you today, but Fred Lewis had some great plays, picked you up there in the first inning, saved a run. How motivated are you when you see a play like that gets thrown out at home? No, it's great. I mean, it's great for the team. I mean, coming in and, you know, getting a big out like that at the end of the inning, uh, you know, everyone feeds off that kind of energy, and, you know, we kind of just trying to jump on that. And, uh, you know, Freddie's doing a great job out there. He's getting better every day, and, you know, it's just nice to get a win. So It's nice to get a win. Absolutely. Greg, back to you.